Well, it was great before the, uh, the leftists ruined it. But, I mean, it's true. It's, it's, it's time to be honest about all this stuff. They'll be happy when it's completely taken over by the gangs. I mean, they'll listen. It was a wonderful college town. A ball to go up there and hang out. Now it's they're you know anti-Semitic and they got the gay Asian for the homecoming queen and they got the gangs and they got what did you what are you doing to this country? It wasn't a gay Asian town. It's, it was a cross-dressing female. It's because uh, those are the people that will actually stop. Will stop? What do you mean? Well, like for instance, isn't it over at the U? Here's in their play about the Pope, right? Yeah. Okay. What are the Catholics going to really do about it? They don't care. I mean, I think the Archbishop did, but it doesn't matter anyway because they're not going to stop. Anyway. Well, but, I mean, even if it is, I hate the word offensive, but say it is, which it is, but, mm -hmm. you know, who, then don't Tell us a little bit it. about it because it's not really a huge news. Well, I don't know. It? it was just a story. It's just an example. Okay, if they did something like that about Muslims, they would actually be, Endangered. Well, they they would absolutely. So they won't take on anybody who's going to actually be dangerous to them. Sammy, yes, sir. The piece last night on Channel Five was right on the money. Oh, the thing I did. Yeah, thank you. It was very. My sister Bobby and I were watching it together. Do you like the? Uh, I got to try to get an animal house whenever I can. I think you're becoming quite the little reporter. Tell him. Tell him to do me one favor, though. Yes, sir. Back the camera up a little bit because your head looks the size of a Volkswagen. Well, it is. Yeah, I know you got a big melon. <laughs> well, you look good on TV. Don't get me wrong. It's just that your head looks huge. You know, Bob. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. I didn't have. I try to usually put because my hair's all over the place. And one of the guys, the guy I edited, said, "Well, that's what the, the young kids are doing." That's exactly. It's to comb your hair with an egg beater. Yeah, the wild look. <laughs> well, it's so natural. What for Bob, you know, far be it for me to offer fashion tips, but one thing you might want to try, Bob. <laughs> And it, and it works with yeah, your presentation right. and your heritage. You're right. So, uh, to go ahead, uh, leave that uh, shirt collar open and go with the big medallion hanging there on the chest. Down to the oh, belly button. Kind of a Sopranos look. Go with that. I think that'd be tough. He does go with the Sopranos delivery. I, that's what I'm saying. You know, go ahead and open that collar up. You know, you can see the neck. You don't look, you know, like you got this big bobble head going on up there. Did people think you looked like a goomba before you were on television? You know... A lot of people don't realize I am Italian because my hair's not, no. you know, it's not dark. It's greasy, but it's not, it's not black. <laughs> oh, when we see your greasy skin and your huge nose, we know you're Italian. <laughs> oh, listen to you. Well, you know what? With the hair, though, you know what that signifies? That the Moors probably didn't get to your part of the country. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. right. On yeah. one side of the family, they did. <laughs> okay. Well, your dad? I don't think they got no, as far as Rome because no. my grandmother's side was from one of those seven hills they have around Rome. Does your mom wear the medallions? Yeah, down to her hairy on her hairy chest. <laughs> Grandma has the mustache. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no, but I had some great aunts that did. I love this show because this started out as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. That's the best well, I appreciate it. Sandy, I've always wondered why I never got any of the good-looking part of the Italian thing. All I got was the bad, the greasy skin, the huge nose, and the tiny wiener. <laughs> oh, Italians oh, have tiny wieners? No, they don't. What are you talking about? I've never heard that. A good three inches or so. <laughs> All right, let's it's move on, damn it. Quality. Anyway, if I could, Tuesdays, Thursdays, uh, 645. And it's also on uh, both our KQ website and KSTP's website. And by the way, thank you to KSTP for saying our call letters on the air, which are, you know, they've affiliate been, station won't do. They've been doing that since the uh, the start of that. By hey, the morning way. live in Alexandria. I'm Ryan Fipon, KSAX, I wet in the Sioux. <laughs> Tom, how early in the uh, day were you watching the number five? Did you see um, the 4 o'clock news? I, God, I don't remember if I saw the 4. I saw the... I think I saw the 4. Allison Triarcy anchoring? Uh, yeah, she's wonderful. Oh, my Lord, did she <laughs> look uh, particularly uh, fetching yes. and sexy yesterday. And you know what? I don't believe Chicago Windler's Japanese. There's nothing about it. I don't it believe it. I don't believe it. It's she, even in her bio. It is? Yeah. She's making it up. Was it Japanese? I yeah. It was Japanese. It was. Okay. Oh, by the way, Terry, would you make sure that uh, Brian is sitting down for this because he's not going to be able to take this revelation? Okay. I have to check. Yep, he's sitting. 
Khalid Sheikh Mohammed's claims that he was responsible for dozens of successful foiled and imagined attacks in the past 15 years relies on loose definition of the word responsible. <laughs> Mohammed may have exaggerated his claim. What? You know what? They should just put him to death anyway because he claimed it. Absolutely. He owned it. Yes, he owned it. That's very good. When did we nab this ding dong? Uh, you know, a couple of years ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago. I right, yeah. We've had him uh, in Guantanamo or wherever we've had him uh, interrogating him for a couple of years. We've bust out with the revelation. Big press release. Here you go. Oh, wait a second. 24 hours later. Jeez. I know. Come on. I don't know why do we report things like that. You know, it's just like you notice, of course, uh, less than one week after reporting that it was too cold to go on the global warming trip, the article in the paper today, warmest winter in history. Using what criteria? Let's, let, let's ask that question. You know, I can tell you it was the warmest day in the history of Minnesota if I used the right criteria. Well, it was in the 40s in December. Yeah, well, it is a lot of times. Well, it was the warmest if you don't count the days when it was uh, below oh. zero. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Since they've been recording temperatures through winter, by the way, not history. No. Well, no, but for quite a while. It's quite you a while. have to give them that. A bit. It's a degree warmer or something. Yeah, 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 it's a degree warmer. Next year it might be four degrees colder. I mean, it's hard to say. It's just so ridiculous. Watch your carbon footprint. That's all I'm saying. Oh, God! That's ridiculous. We're going to die! Don't you understand? We're all going to die! The suckers are actually sending money to Al Gore for their carbon. Because they're so guilty. They have so much money. Why don't they just give it to regular people? Here, have some money. Or move to Minnesota. I'd love to take it away if you're making too much. Well, isn't that the truth? And they will be taking more when the uh, people like Poga Miller and Phyllis Kahn get their hands on us, which they have, by the way. How about property taxes? Okay, get it over. Oh, my God. It's, it's a, you couldn't even sell your house for it. I thought they wanted to buy my house when I saw the figure they sent me. Probably I thought instead of paying what them, I had, to, I had to. I thought they were paying me for my house. Mine have gone up last year 11%, this year 9%. I, I can't even believe it. I was like, you've got to be kidding. What, is this what Jesse Ventura wanted? I told, remember, long, no. long ago, I said, this is a scam. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, didn't, for it huge. but didn't he say that? Didn't he say, now you're going to see? How much the schools are really taking because it's well, going to be on the. Yeah, he did. You yeah. know, and for, I mean, it is insane. For people out there who are stunned and upset by it, go to your city council when they have the meeting for property taxes. Because we, when I was on the Ordinal City Council, there were times where we reversed what the, uh, the assessor said. If you could bring enough proof that there's no way it should go up like that, there it's no comps in your neighborhood. Go there because you could get it reversed. Uh, we don't have a tax revenue problem. We have a spending problem. You know what I love about that whole situation? When it's tax time, your house is worth a hundred grand. If you try to get a mortgage, it's worth fifty. Yep. But well, how's that possible? Well, okay. now it's try to sell thing. it. Christ. It's a little difficult. No, but here's what I, you know, I won't get on the high horse. I'm sorry, but get honest. This Bernanke has destroyed the little guy. I mean, all this bluster about, oh, we're, oh, we're just trying to take care of the, yes, I know they gotta watch inflation, I understand that. But you're killing construction workers. The little guy can't buy a house any longer because the rates are so high. You're putting him under because he can't pay his, uh, adjustable rate. I mean, what are you doing? You know, they should, uh, well, he's they a green, should, he's a Greenspan wannabe, so he wants to do everything. That, why not do it on your own? They should have Ben Stein run it. Ben Stein yeah. is so brilliant. I'll go with that. And he, he has a plan. They should just put him in there. He also has m money. He has money, but he he said, you know, for no, the... I'm um, saying he's making too much to take that job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that job well, sucks. I don't know. He, worked, no, he wrote interested. speeches for Nick's. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy, I think he would do it. He's a very smart guy. Every time you, you, know, you watch him on a news program, he opens his mouth. He makes sense. Yep. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's just the idea. American Idol judge and music executive Simon Cowell says he's worth five times more to his record label, Sony BMG, than its big recording artist, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, good for him. <laughs> a man whose critical comments are at the center of television's most popular television program. Uh, 
nice one that would be television's most popular television program, speaks to uh, Anderson Cooper. Oh, there you go. Heart hitting. Yeah, Anderson Queer. Cooper. 